for a new video so first of all happy new year I hope you will enjoy this year and many great things will happen to you so I'm very excited about this video today because I was requested to do a hair growing tip video as you can see my hair is curly but pretty long if I pull on it it reaches my butt even though I cut it like a month before so if you're interested in knowing some advice uh, free of damage for your hair and also free of charge because some of us are like broke AF and you still want a sexy beautiful healthy hair Stay tuned and without further ado, let's get right into the video! So the first advice I can give you, that's the most obvious but also the most important, is to avoid heat on your hair. I know for some of you it can be difficult to forget about heat and I used to straighten my hair like every once in a week or twice in a week and my hair was so damaged and it would smell like ashes etc. They, it wouldn't curl anymore. Right now it feels better. But before, like my hair was straight here and a little curly there, like unhealthy hair. And I put my st hair straightener away and I feel a lot better. So to get used to it, I advise you to try challenges like the 30 day no heat challenge. For 30 days you don't use any heat, any curly, curling iron or hair straightener on your hair. And 30 days later you will see the results, like your hair will be healthier and also you will gain time, etc. If you don't want to try the 30 days challenge, you can do it during holidays, during the weekend etc. You leave your hair the way it is and you will see the result. Also, I have no heat tutorials to curl your hair, to straighten your hair. I put the links above my head. This technique works so fine, maybe better than the heat because it's a gain of time and also your hair uh, has no damage with this technique. So. I advise you to give it a try. So the other question I have a lot is when to cut your hair. I cut my hair a month ago but to be completely honest with you I cut my hair like once or twice a year that's not a lot to be honest and I never go to the hairdresser I think I should go but I sometimes I don't have the money and also I don't have the time and I'm afraid that they cut uh, a lot of my hair so I have techniques to on how to cut your hair at home I advise you to give uh, them a try because they are very efficient when you don't have time, when you run out of time, when you don't have the money to go to the hairdresser. Some people advise you to cut your hair frequently to avoid the split ends, but I quite disagree with them because you don't need to cut your hair a lot if you don't use heat, if you don't damage your hair. Maybe you have not a lot of split ends, so I only cut my split ends. If you want a specific haircut, you can go to the hairdresser, but I mean, personally, I want just my hair to be straight and to be healthy, so... I just cut my ends like once or twice a year and it's okay for me. Also, when to shower your hair? I think it's a quite taboo question because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not ashamed of that. I wash my hair once or twice in a week and it's completely fine. I don't have greasy hair, it's the opposite. I have very, very dry hair. I think that people with curly hair know this struggle of dry hair when you wash it a lot and also it gets frizzy and not very beautiful. I cannot do anything with it. I know that some people will say like to have greasy hair and you have to wash your hair every day uh, I would say that it's paradox because when you wash your hair too often uh, the shampoo is being aggressive on your scalp so your scalp produces a lot of oil to save your hair so if you wash your hair less you will produce less oil and your hair will be less greasy I know at the beginning it will be greasy obviously but you can use baby powder or a more natural way baking soda but what you do is that you pour some baby powder baking soda on your hair you rub your scalp gently you massage your scalp and then you brush uh, everything everything out and your hair will be fine for the day also on YouTube there are lots of greasy hair day dirty hair day tutorials hair tutorials so when you ran out of time and then you have to go to school or to work and your hair is a bit greasy uh, there are a lot of hairstyles you can do to hide it I have tutorials on my channel so check that out after the video also when I take a shower what I do is that I pour some shampoo on my scalp I rub gently I massage my hair and I don't uh, really really wash the end of my hair because it's dry and there's no oil that can protect your hair so what I do is that I really uh, wash my scalp and then I put the end and the middle of my hair on my scalp and then I wash again to have some shampoo on it but I don't insist on the bottom of my hair because it's already dry and it's not really dirty something that I do after shampoo I apply a mix of warm water and cider vinegar on my hair I put everything in a spray you can mix 
uh, warm water and uh, cider vinegar in a bottle or something like that and apply on your hair after the shampoo and you let it sit for some minutes you wash your body etc and then you rinse everything you will have no smell plus your hair will be uh, shiny and also uh, for those with greasy hair it will be a miracle on your hair when I rinse my hair I always rinse my hair with cool water not cold because I don't like cold water but not warm not hot water because it will be aggressive for your hair so just cool water is okay and your hair will be shiny and healthier at the end of the shower I know that I will make two teams I never blow dry my hair I think it's part of the curly hair problem when I blow dry my hair my hair like explodes becomes very very big and freezy and it's impossible for me to brush uh, through the tangles etc tell me in the comment bar if you have the same struggle as me and if you really want to blow dry your hair um, use it at a very very low temperature and for those who don't blow dry their hair uh, when you use your towel don't rub your hair I'm putting a video on which I explain how do, how do I dry my hair so what I do is that I use my towel and I gently press on my scalp and on my ends with the towel just to get it a little dry to prevent it from dripping and after that I let it air dry talking about the hairstyles now I advise you to avoid tight hairstyles like tight buns, tight ponytails, tight braids, tight everything because these hairstyles cause the scalp to very very pull on the roots and your hair will break easily obviously you can wear your favorite bun your ponytail or braids etc but at the end of the day don't forget to remove the hairstyle to let your hair rest and I advise you also to vary the hairstyles because your hair needs to rest and also you will avoid the receding hairlines everybody knows who I'm, who I'm talking about when I say receding hairline also avoid to sleep with your hair down I mean, I know it's sexy, it's fashionable to sleep with your hair down like the actresses uh, in the movies like they go to sleep with their hair down and then they wake up with the perfect hairstyle and if you want to dream about your prince charming, you want to be the most beautiful um, in your dream but the problem with sleeping with your hair down is that it causes your hair to tangle a lot during your sleep and you move a lot in your sleep so your hair will like rub uh, together and it will hurt your hair so what you can do to, to avoid this is wearing a low uh, or a loose braid something like that or also to wear a scarf when you go to sleep and I have another technique that I put on my channel that not everybody knows is the cardoon technique so this is a cardoon it's a sort of ribbon and you wrap your hair with that and you go to sleep and the um, how to say that the positive effects of the, the cardoon is that it will first of all protect your hair from the friction and also it will prevent the tangles also it will straighten your hair and as it pulls a little bit on your scalp on your roots it will make your hair grow so in Algeria in Africa we often use it to make our hair grow so if you haven't seen the tutorial I really advise you to watch it because it's a very efficient it's one of of my uh, most used technique to have my hair long I swear you will see the results and you will uh, thank me a lot for that and when you brush your hair to do your hairstyles avoid being too aggressive I know sometimes I have tangled and I want to just pull my hair away but I advise you to use first of all uh, tools that go well with your hair so I use a very very soft brush is the tangle teaser I think it's the, the name of that I bought one like for less than one dollar on Aliexpress if you want uh, the link ask me in the comment bar you can find easily on wish etc uh, you, you don't have to pay a lot for this and a white teeth comb that's very very friendly to our African curly type of hair because it protects uh, our curls and if you use a very tight comb, your hair will break faster and easily. So with your type of hair, use the correct uh, tool to brush your hair. And when you brush your hair, don't brush like this. Uh, what I do is that I separate my hair in different parts and then I put some water. I don't like to brush my hair when it's dry. I don't uh, make my hair damp, but I wet my hair a little bit uh, to get my hair uh, very, very soft to brush it. And then I brush first the ends of my hair and then I go up uh, very very slowly and slightly 
So now we're going to talk about hair products. Uh, I advise you to avoid expensive and toxic products when you read the ingredients they promise you to have shiny hair, uh, long hair etc but everything is toxic in the ingredients I advise you to avoid this kind of products and use natural products uh, African people will know about that uh, I'm Algerian and we use a lot of olive oil and olive oil is very good for basically everything so every once in a week what I do is that I do an oil bath I mean I mix olive oil, coconut oils, argan oil and then I rub my scalp, I massage my scalp from the scalp to my ends and massaging your hair is very good for your hair growth because blood circulates better and then it allows your hair to grow faster and I let sit for the day or for the weekend sometimes and then I take my shower and my hair is Bomb. And last but not least, I will talk about the famous castor oil. Uh, if you don't believe in it, give it a try because it's very good. I advise you to buy the 100% natural castor oil and to put some on your scalp. It's a quite greasy oil so you can use it uh, during the weekend uh, or if you use it every day, very be gentle in the, the, um, the dosing of the, the oil. And what I do is that I rub my scalp with it, I massage my scalp with it and my hair grows so fast. You can use it also for the lashes, for the eyebrows, for anything. It's bomb. So I think that's it for my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if I forgot something and if you have another technique, feel free to tell me in the comment bar. I love to talk with you about that. And I hope that my technique will be efficient on your hair. Before leaving, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to give a huge thumbs up because I work hard on my videos. I know I don't often post, but when I do, I try to be as natural and I try to do my best to please my followers. And yeah, don't forget to watch my other tutorials. I hope they will help you too. And yeah, I take any type of suge suggestions, comments, etc. Any type of love. And I can't wait to see you next time for a new video. Bye!